Diversity is important in the workplace for many reasons. But for me, the two reasons that are most important are probably that if you have people who are from different walks of life, have different perspectives and upbringings, you will have a more creative and innovative work environment. And also you will understand your customers a lot better. For a global business like Divido, we work in, in 10 countries already. We need a diverse workplace. We are all about innovation. For us, this is absolutely a priority. What are the challenges that I've faced? Well, I think, and I think this is slightly less of a challenge now, but I, I think you still, as a, as a female in tech, in a significant minority. So I think as a female, you have to get very used to being often the only female in a room, the only female in a meeting. Um, and I think early in your career, that, that can feel a little bit challenging and a bit daunting. And I, I you know, it's about having the confidence to speak up and and the confidence to make your voice heard. So I think, yes, early in your career in tech, that that can feel like a bit of a challenge. I think as you progress through your career, it's, it's hopefully less of a challenge for you. Um, I think secondly, um, having the confidence to maybe speak up about, about issues and things that are less than positive. And what I mean by that is, you know, these situations do happen we you know we wish they didn't but they do happen and i think as a female you have you have to be willing and, and male as well actually you have to be willing to to, to call them out so i think it, whether it's things like you know in my experience it's it's hearing people hearing females being described as as bossy when they're actually not they're just assertive females or or you know few scenarios i've experienced which is you know having childcare arrangements questioned in an interview which is something that as a man you would you would never get that question um or you know a scenario i once had where i once got asked to send a a um a female member of my team to an exhibition because she was attractive so i mean I, i'm laughing they're very serious um they're serious issues and i think you have to be confident to deal with these issues and, and actually start conversations about them so i think you know, we have to be able to talk about these things and, and challenge them. And I think by doing so, that's how we change people's thinking. Because, you know, some of these issues are, are conscious bias, some of them are unconscious bias. But I think regardless, I, they're definitely challenges that, that women experience, um, not just in tech, but generally. So I think we definitely have to be happy to have those conversations and, and challenge challenge the issues. Challenges that I have faced getting to a leadership level. The one that comes to mind is probably maternity. I am a mother to two young kids. And both times when I went to maternity, I heard comments like, oh, now you're going on a six month holiday. Or actually, we can't fund your business now because you're pregnant. Or um, we can't give you the next role or the peer review until you're back from maternity. I'll tell you what, if you are treating a parent right when they go on maternity to rightfully take care of their family, they will be loyal to you and your business for their life. So there is a lot of business sense in doing this right. If I look at Divide, our, our, our CEO is, is absolutely passionate about, about diversity. And when you have a situation like that where the CEO is driving that agenda, then you know that it, it's going to make its way through the organisation. So I think signs like that are, are really, really good. I started my career as a trader at the Deutsche Bank uh, trading desk. I was the only woman amongst 20 traders at the time. And uh, the best advice I got at the time was speak up. And that's something that I have done throughout my career. I'm a short Asian woman. So even if I have to shout to make sure that my voice is heard, if I have a valid viewpoint, whether it's the 20 traders or sitting in the boardroom with, you know, European VCs, if I have a point to make, I will make sure that I am heard. For anyone 
starting out on their career or, or actually later in your career as well is, is definitely get a mentor. Um, they can really, really help you um, develop your career and, and don't be afraid to ask someone as well. I think lots of people hate to go and maybe ask someone more senior for their time or feel like they don't know them well enough. But I would say just go and ask. I think most people, if they get asked to be a mentor, really see that as a compliment and they really enjoy the process of being a mentor. So, and both parties can get a lot from, from that relationship. So I would say definitely go and get yourself a mentor or even two mentors, um, you know, for different parts of your career development. Absolutely go and do that.